So we're here today with Kevin Middleton, the new Arbroath FC Women's Team Manager. Kev, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, on your selection for it. A local guy, you know, worked in football quite a lot over the, the, the recent years, having worked for the Community Trust, worked through kind of kids' age football right through to, to senior men's here at the club. Firstly, how you, how you feeling about it? Uh, I'm proud and delighted. Uh, I've been at training this week. Um, I've been uh, really, really pleased with the not only the, the, the standard of the players, but their effort, their intensity and their work rate. Um, also very, very pleased with the coaching staff that are there. Um, I think there's a lot of experience and prof professionalism sorry, in that coaching staff. I'm not making any changes at the moment. The only change that I'm really making is bringing Joanna Phillip on board. So Joanna uh, was the first captain of the team yep. and first goal scorer of the team, something she reminds me of very, very often. But Joanna will bring qualities to the coaching staff and the team that, that we need. Um, so I'm happy with that. Um, from a personal point of view, Ryan, uh, absolutely delighted to have almost coached, as you said, at nearly every level of football in our growth. Yep. Um, I think that's really, really, really positive. And I'm uh, hoping to bring that experience and experience of community football as well to the team. And you mentioned Joanna there, obviously, like you say, first, first captain of the squad, first goal scorer of the squad. And somebody who really kind of eats, lives and breathes football in our growth, that's got to be a pretty huge benefit that she really kind of gets those values that the club have. Yeah, Joanna not only loves the, the female game, but also the male game. She absolutely loves the club um, from top to bottom. So bringing her on board, she has a day job where she de deals with people. Um, and it's something that we share, that we really value people and we try and see the best in people. So Joanna coming on board um, gives the, that bridge between the players and myself. Being a female coach is also a positive because I think we need to encourage more females into the coaching game. So Joanna's coming on board to do um, more of a personal role to start with, but she'll be trained up as a coach as we go. She's obviously got that knowledge of football. She just needs that knowledge of how to deliver training sessions. So Excellent. that's going to be her role. So in terms of what the next couple of months look like, obviously we are quite late in the, the women's season. You know, what's the, the next couple of, couple of months look like for you as the coach, for the team, for the players? Uh, there's going to be no changes to the, to the squad, there's going to be no changes outgoing, so everyone's going to stay who's in the squad, um, everyone's going to get a fair chance, a clean slate to impress and show that they can be here next season to contribute to, to next season. Um, as I say, everyone's attitude and, and their intensity and their work rate has been fantastic, so give me a selection headache for Sunday, but uh, not only that long term as well, if, if this keeps up I'll be really, really impressed with the, with the squad. But in terms of the next few months, hoping to win a few games, um, we're obviously not in a great position in the league at the moment, but hopefully we can win a few games. I've seen the crowds that come to the games, it's, it's a sizable It's crowd. impressive. It's very impressive and uh, what we need to do is just put a team on the park that makes not only the fans proud but the whole, t uh, the whole town proud as well. Absolutely, and, and kind of going back to those values that we share, you know, we mentioned togetherness a lot, it is the kind of club mantra. <clears throat> Are you seeing that already in the squad that's there and is it something that you're really keen to kind of push, push to the, the squad? Yeah, there's most definitely a togetherness, you know, the, I think when I got put into the group chat uh, with the players, they were trying to organise a team night out, for example. What's not there at the moment is confidence, confidence in themselves and each other. Um, and it's up to myself and the coaching staff to sort of free them from the fear of failure and uh, make sure that they know mistakes are fine, we're going to lose games. Those are all things that are part of football and, and they're all part of the process towards being better. Um, so that's something that we need to do in the next few months but that togetherness is already there and it's a, it's a real bonus for me and the coaching staff that it is. And in terms of the coaching standard, there's obviously there's a really good core of players there certainly, you know, you look at the, the more experienced players, your Charlie Finlayson's, your Kelsey Mackay's, uh, Abby McCabe, you know, there's, there's definitely a core for you there. I know when the, when the women's team was first established this year, the, the, the kind of primary objective of season one was, you know, building that core. Is it good for you that, that you know, there is a core of players there that you can certainly build from? Yeah, absolutely. I'm not going to single out players, Ryan, because everyone's got a role in the team. They've all got different qualities and they're, they're different people and they bring those qualities to the team. But in terms of the team makeup, you know, it's, it's quite um, unbalanced at the moment. You know, we've got a lot of centre midfielders, for example. But um, in terms of the quality, that is there. It's just getting the right balance in the squad now and, and the starting 11 to, to take us forward. But there's a lot of good players there, a lot of experience. A mixture of youth and, and more experienced players, which is great for the younger players because they can pull on that experience. So I think after a few more training sessions, I'll get a feel for where we're at. They'll get a feel for where they're at and, and we'll see what it's like going forward. Excellent. Well, thanks very much for your time today, Kev. All the best for Sunday for your, uh, your first game in charge. 
and obviously for the rest of the season as well. Thanks, Ryan.